if you're tuning into this with me now, please note this is video number two. So I'm just going to continue kind of from where because I was passionate into what I was saying before I decided to like cut the video short because it was already over 30 minutes and we know how YouTube be with me and uploading you see so this is video number two to video number one I always suggest that you can do whatever it is that you want but it would be advisable that if you wanted to really follow and what it was that I was saying if that's what brings you here to this page this channel and there will be things in there for you too if you tune in that's for your alignment too even if you don't pay attention and even if you don't understand know that this is healing alchemy me for you you know what i mean and so either way this is just that kind of page um anyway so i'm gonna continue with what it was that i was saying now i don't even remember what i was saying <laughs> so i'm gonna get it back and now we're gonna wait okay right it was about um the practical realist energies that are assisting us now and lending us that power charge of energy of influence to do and and take the action that we need to take reaching decisions much more quickly because now it's no more procrastinating kind of energies it's like you feel compelled that you have to take action because it's already been too long or or not or it's just time you know what i mean so oh mercury and aries yeah mercury and aries i think it's venus sun and pisces aries Taurus. Yeah, so, right, so you have that combo of that sun, sun, Taurus, Aries infusion that's happening at this time. Like, the power energy behind all these little parts. So you got Venus and Gemini, so you got playful interactions, you got Mercury and Aries communication. So, <laughs> getting shit done. Like, no joke. Like, being practical, being real, applying it in this kind of way. Because if you, that's what I was saying before in video number one, that if you are seeing these parts and pieces and you're understanding it best, it's for you to understand what's already what already is. You're not creating all these pieces. These pieces are already pre-existing to you. So what you need to do if you wanted to work with them, right? Right? Because we're learning, growing, evolving, tapping in, and just what is here. This is just knowledge, my friends. And you empower yourself with whatever way is sparked and inspired for you. I'm not telling you what to do. Do what you want. <laughs> as long as it don't involve me, do what you want. <laughs> right. So, um, so we understand the energies at play. Like, you know, Taurus and, like, Taurus energy and Capricorn energy together, like, let's say that kind of, like, energy, um, and then you have Aries, and Jupiter, and you have Mercury, you have all these planets, and all this kind of stuff, but, like, all these pre-existing things that generate, the generators of energy already, so the energy is what we know it to be, right, and so now you can feed from the two this kind of like that vampiric energy like like vamp like people that are vampire um vampires people that are vampires okay the prey that they seek that we may say oh it's like the sheep the weak right mm -hmm. right the vampires seek those that would be susceptible to their charm because they smell it in their essence and their energy and they just want to drink them dead because that insatiable lack thereof of control the things that are like variety the spice of life right um may have taken us away from or distracting us from many things that we still must do practically too on this earthly plane and so like to understand the planets and the signs that are are influencing 
the energies and charging it up and you can come by and drink that's what's up like you know three of cups like i embrace joyful opportunities to work with the energies that are around me to bring into existence all that i choose based by what i feel page of cups something's real my emotions are real getting into alignment with that because how you feel is everything real and everything you marinate into existence so if you know this reaching decisions quickly with a mind of um confidence and peace to know that you're in such divine alignment at this time that everything that you go to create based off of how you feel you get to enjoy this joyful opportunity to alchemize for real and marinate in such a way that you create for yourself with full alignment and clarity, clarity, okay, by understanding you and the things you want and the things you want to do. And the things that matter to you. That you know now. Never mind from before somehow. How do you feel right now? About love. About people. You know that are around you. About your job. About you know just. just About arguments. About past hurts. Pains. Traumas. Like let's bring this to the table. Right. And then the moon <laughs> comes to right here. The moon in Western astrology, I think, is in Leo. And in Vedic, it's in Cancer. What? I'm not wrong. That's the energies. And I know it's still water, fire. What? Emotional realms of existence. You see, moon and Cancer, what? They retreat, retreat. We go inside so many... On this plane of existence, especially the hybrids that are waking up in now and today, you know, waking up and like, whoa, what's going on? Like, and having to walk the walk, walk the talk, walk, talk the walk, 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 you know what I mean. Right. It's about reflection at this time. It's about patience. It's about self-reliance it's about self-control and applying that practically and real in the 3d in every department that is activated for you at this time you see venus love energies like you know relationships intimacy is what you want from those things and being honest with yourself and if you're self-sabotaging too and so like these energies is like if you are like i can only again use me as an example you see um you know just this ten of swords i like that i looked down i see the truth in this ending ten of swords style of you know so many depths so many transformations so many like abuses traumas to have to evolve and get through and hardships and challenges and just like back against the wall and mistakes one makes from their own conditionings and the shame that you carry and the things that you know you have to get through from you and your own timeline too whether it's this timeline or another timeline and having to be triggered and then be conscious in your trigger to heal from this too or, you know, express yourself and find your voice and find your place and, 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 and do this in such a deliberate, like, grounded, in, <laughs> persuasive, I hear, um, receptive space because you're receptive to yourself most times like a lot of the inner conflict is in the accepting of ourselves and our experience and our choices or living up to the expectations of what others perceive or what you have said from once upon a time before and all these challenges that you gotta go through the door the mass that you are being um introduced to that exists from you you know that dr 
Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and, you know, meeting our light and shadow side attributes and not denying either one and embracing this infusion, understanding the infusion that's happening at this time is it's to infuse, not to eradicate or to erase. There's no sense in erasing any aspect of anything of who you are and where you are and what you've done up until this point. Like, that's every part of you. You gotta embrace each side too, the light and shadow side. And it's about coming to life and putting to death finally a bit yourself. Like, I see the truth in this ending this time instead of victimizing or, or holding on too tight. Like, um, so many, um, trips we're taking down like with this whole like even with the pluto retrograde and venus going retrograde traveling most a lot of people's emotional body pain comes from the relationships that they have the experiences that they have starting from where home and then we hear quotes like home is where the heart is well you know my heart is home but i know where my heart is no <laughs> I'm never going back. Never. You don't know what happened there. It was scary. I don't wish that on anyone. And then the sadness that ensued and all the experiences that followed suit from the energy that was created from that home based system conditioning. And then society didn't help. Right. And so I created my own experiences based off of these experiences based off of my portal door I came through in this 3D realm and I'm just like oh so many things that we have ignored or like found found our own balance in like our own value and that's just the time how many deaths lots murders massacres wipeout <laughs> wipeout and so here we are having evolved and still evolving And even if this is your first time evolving and acknowledging that, bravo! The rest of the world out there is not the way. But that's why we are the example, you see. The energy that we breed, we seed, we birth into the new. But you can't fix stupid. And the adults sometimes are just stuck in their ways, you know what I'm saying? So... What they're trying to get to is the kids. And so what better way than to do fear-based tactics in our systems of the same karmic cycle of nonsense bullshit, right? And you're like, okay, so now you're in this new space of a place and we know, we know already that you don't fight war with war. It's just it's catastrophic. It's traumatic. Creates PD, PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. There's so many that get trapped in their emotional bodies. Because that's the energies that are cycling. Look, they hold on to it so tight, right? The Four of Pentacles usually like, I'm not gonna let go of this. I'm not gonna let go of this. I'm not gonna let go of this. Drama. 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 And so now we're here. Right here. And responsible. I'm responsible. I'm, I'm accountable. Right? We've been through the ringer. My, my, my personal demon. Right? Now we're taking charge. The chariot. And go forward with confidence. Right? And so, like, you know, I can only use me as an example. Seven of Wands, right? Right. I, I feel like 
you know, and this is an observation, this is not even being in victim mode mentality, this is just me speaking with practicality of the reality of just like, you know, observation skills, this is emotionally detached from that kind of system, because I do not harbor any kind of resentment in that kind of way, towards any of the experience that I go to explain, to share, to give you something to resonate with in terms of energy experience or whatever, not necessarily saying you have to have the same exact thing, but just, you know, um, you know, if you, if you, um, if you, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> if you connect, okay, like, as an empath, intuitive empath, or like, you know, since you were young, like, you know, you saw things, heard things, experienced things, or whatever, or maybe not from when you were young, you're having that now, like, you know, and it's just like, wow, and you're seeing things from different kind of things, and then you start to analyze, or just, you know, psychoanalyze your own patterns of behaviors, conditions, because when you got to, when you work on actually, like, you know, transmuting things that are not you by identifying the parts of you that were conditioned into you, rooted into you, acting into you, like, when you break through addictions, too, like, when I had to break through my smoking, like, I would never touch a cigarette again, and to stand here and to know that there was once upon a time that I couldn't even imagine with my mind never smoking a cigarette in this lifetime, I'm like, mm -mm. <laughs> Man, my rocking chair, smoking. Like, you know what I mean? And so, um, the battle of defensives and the challenges of, you know, having to really, really walk through your own shadows, walk through your own dark, walk through your own truth, your lies, you know, your disguise, your denies, and, and then getting through that in life. And especially if you've had, you know, if you come from, like, I come from an abusive background, like, you know, I was abused. Many times. So, to, and it's interesting too, like when I had to get through the dialogue of the people that did not know me and met me later on in life and just never would have thought, oh my, you come from an abusive life, you're so full of light. Right, you know? And so, you know, you think about the things that, um, are coming into play at this time, you know, for your own justice, because justice is here. Justice is here, especially for all of you that are putting in the work, and even if you're doing it now, never mind the time frame of whenever it is that you come. The ones that are joining now, only join now because of the energies that have already been energizing from all the collective that have been putting in the work to open and expand and create this space of a place, of an energy vortex to be created that is infinite beyond you know and 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 so it influences king of swords right so i like that it came out even king of swords because of what i'm gonna say right now so like so um so someone like 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 me now like you know and addressing certain kind of things and certain feelings or ways that um family friends or just you know, personal battles that you have, like, you know, not speaking up for yourself because, you know, like, we're being, like, an empath, understanding how that person feels and with compassion, like, just allowing certain behaviors or, or, or tolerating certain kind of injustices or things just because you're the peacemaker or just because, you know, you can be the bigger person or just because, um, you know the right thing to do, and so, like, self-control is you, and, ooh, you know, and then, meanwhile, like, you know, feelings inside, internal, still, that developing, that turmoil, that alone, that not understood, oh, you know, you're being the one that is giving, you know, and get drained, or punishing yourself in some kind of way for some kind of bad thing you did in a yesterday that was 20 freaking years ago. Like, the seeds you sow, I must mean I deserve this, you see. Oh, a life of misery or just the conditioning of um, how we do those kind of things. So, for those, what I was saying, like, the work that I've done so 15, 20 years of work constantly, that, of, of, of intentional work in that kind of way as an adult, you see. But I've been doing this as a child. Just feeling like a scientist in some kind of way and, and documenting all my journeys, like saying, I don't know why I feel like I'm talking to an audience. 
get though or multiple personality disorder i had enough trauma in my life possibly i have multiple personalities going through this this psychosis in my own mind questioning my crazies too like is this you know am i hallucinating am i on drugs right now did i do this did i you know being really real with yourself and like standing in your truth like once upon a time i didn't share with you or things that I would see or whatever just because out of the fear of mocking me or like she crazy. Now I speak what I speak, I say what I know because I know what I know. And that's my truth. And these things that I sow. And you can believe whatever you want. Like, you know, to be so solidified in that kind of stance. Taking that kind of leveling of action, man. So that's kind of like the the patience level and the tolerance level, like of the energies now with Taurus and the Aries infusion. It's like short King, it's like King of Swords, like cut through the bullshit. Like I don't got time for your bullshit. I don't got time for your deny. I don't got time. Like it's about me right now, and it's not about being selfish about it. It's 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 about being successful in your practical realities on this three D plane to give you the security, the foundation that you truly seek in this now align. That will match with your vibrations, frequencies of this now time. So we have to be deliberate in some kind of way. Like, you know, and it's going to require patience from us. But, like, it's happening. Of course, you know, there's going to be people that don't do what, you know, they're supposed to do. But you got the influencing energies too. They're like, uh-uh, it's going to come up for you in some kind of way. Seven is going to come up for you. Like, you know, um, and then, you know, seven of swords out. Even just like, oh, I see so much. <sighs> Look at the craziness. Mm -hmm. Inhales for energies. Exhales to relax. Inhales for energies. Exhales to relax. Right. Right. So, like... So I've been like on a personal like the leading spree <laughs> and I have more to go and and there's some that like I, I have to <laughs> but it's like you know it would be personal but like I'm just saying like you know underlying energies underlying energy like that seven of swords kind of energy like personally like energetically like picking up on the vibes from those around and or like you and like usually we keep the peace too which is fine. But heavy is our load, always, and here we are shifting and, and evolving in our consciousness. And we're active and we're defending and we're no longer resisting this transformation within ourselves. And so, like, the conjuring of, like, these energies that we're invoking and using to further expand on our lands through the knowledge-based system that we share and how we compute and internalize this for ourselves and bring this powerhouse of an energy into our universe that we are responsible and accountable for creating that's happening at this time right the hermit goes inside and just like really seeing things for what they are no matter how we feel but then addressing how we feel about the real that we're now no longer denying or ignoring or pretending we don't see. Or acting like we don't know. Because when you know better, you do better. So it's now it's a matter of choice. What do I choose to do? Right? I know that the right person waits until I'm ready. Knight of Cups energy. And there's just a lot of like love energies right now. A lot of shakeups. A lot of like just, you know, um, what's happening. Like, especially like in the hybrids. Like the hybrids that are waking up now, like that may not have been as awakened or spiritual for as long as some of us here might have been all our lives, you know, connected to the divine and this kind of a line, even though, you know, we have to evolutionize, revolutionize too, but, you know, the healers in us too, um, there's hybrids that um, may have come from different upbringings, conditionings that um, didn't connect them or guide them to that kind of soul i know this is the sun energy but still the soul the sun is the seed of the, like the soul 
like our soulful life. They know more of the practical life. That's the hybrids for me. Know more of the practicals, but it doesn't exempt them from life experiences like Venus. Venetian, Mercurial, Mercurial, <laughs> Mercury, um, you know, Jupiteran, like, you know, these are common ground areas that we all share energetically, like, you know what I mean? So, um, Queen of Pentacles energies, the feminine energies of that I have everything I need to prosper, you know, the masculine and feminine energies. Oh, <laughs> and then Mary Bella. <laughs> Why am I so tongue-tied? Oh my god. Mary. Belting. Okay. Where it is the... Infusion. Of the god. And goddess energy. Working together. Justice is here. For the lovers. Infuse, my dear. The divine masculine and the divine energy. The divine masculine and divine feminine energies at this time. Intertwining. They dance and they create. They marinate. They breed. They seed abundance. Celebrate it. May 1st, right? Well, there's May 2nd now, too. Because this is late in the night. Because it's already after, way after midnight. Oh my, am I going to be the same? Three is nine in the morning. <laughs> but, yeah, so you have agreement. You have understanding. And you have, I hear commitment. And you have acceptance. The hybrids are listening. Wow. Healing our emotional bodies. Oh my, this is going to be video number three. Okay. Tune in, my friends. <laughs>